Hey guys, to celebrate the release of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, I'm showing you how to make two treats that were inspired by the film. So to start, I'm going to show you how to make a cupcake that is topped with a giant carrot. So I have a bowl with some Mars bars that I've chopped up finely and some butter. I'm gonna let that melt about halfway over a pan of simmering water. The reason why you want to melt that about halfway is to give the Mars bars a head start. The mini marshmallows can now go in. My mixture is smooth and melted. I'm going to take it off the heat and pour in my Rice Krispies. When your mixture is cool enough to handle, you can shape them to form the carrots. Um, you can make these as big or as small as you like. I love making these really big so they overpower the cupcake. It is gonna be sticky, so you may want to dip your hands into some cold water. So grab a nice little chunk, and I like to roll it out into a cone shape. Without giving away too much, there's a girl in the film called Fiona. She has the ability to make things grow really big and she makes these giant carrots, which is where I got this idea from. I'm going to make the cupcakes look like soil. These are gonna look great on top, overpowering the cupcakes. I'm going to pop those in the fridge to set. My carrots are out of the fridge. They're a lot firmer now, which will mean they're a lot easier to work with. Now I know what you're thinking, they don't really look like carrots, but that's because I'm about to dice a white chocolate orange and I'm gonna dip them in it. I'm really happy with my color. Now it's time to dip. I'm going to stick a toothpick into each of the carrots to make it easier to dip them. While the chocolate on my carrot sets, I'm going to get going with the cupcakes. I'm using a chocolate cupcake. If you'd like to know this recipe, I'll leave all of the ingredients and the recipe in the description box below. And now I'm going to take a large knife and I'm going to shave the top off to flatten it. Now don't eat those tops because we're gonna need them. I'm creating some soil to place on top of the cupcake. And I'm doing that by adding some chocolate Oreos into a small blender. I'm gonna add in the extra tops too. That can now go into a separate bowl, ready to decorate the cupcakes. To stick the soil onto my cupcakes, I'm going to use a chocolate buttercream. I'm adding a nice layer of buttercream on the top because as we're adding crumbs on top, you don't want to make the texture too dry. So I'm spreading that round and using my hands, I'm going to scoop some crumbs and press them on. To make the stalk for the carrot, I'm using some green fondant. I'm going to pull off a small amount and roll it into a little sausage. Now using a sharp knife, I'm going to cut slats through the bottom to give it that leaf effect. Once your carrots are set, you can pull out the toothpicks and then stick the leaves on with a bit of the extra chocolate. How cute are they? Now using some more chocolate, I'm going to secure these on top of the cupcakes. So there you have my treat number one. I just love how big the carrot looks on top of the cupcake but that's how it looks in the film. You don't need to make it as big as I do, but I've gone for the wow factor. For treat number two, I'm making eyeball truffles. These are one of my favorite desserts to make and they're so easy to whip up. In a food processor, I have some Oreos and I'm gonna crush those until they form fine crumbs. Now 
Now that I have my crumbs, I'm going to add in my cream cheese and that is it. I just need to blitz it until it forms a ball. Really happy with my consistency, so I'm gonna roll it into some small balls. Before dipping those in melted white chocolate, they need to go in the fridge or the freezer to firm up. The baddies in the film need to eat peculiar children's eyeballs to gain power, so that's why I decided to do it for treat number two and also because they look really creepy. In order to turn these into eyeballs, I need the chocolate to set, so I'm gonna pop those in the fridge to do so. To decorate the eyeballs, I'm going to use some blue and green candy melts and a chocolate chip for the pupil, and then to make them even more spooky, I'm going to use a red icing pen for the veins. So there you have my two treats inspired by the film Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Easy.